Hello Crystal Souls and welcome to Snoopy Card Reading. Today's topic is going to be about your new love that is entering your life, your new boyfriend or girlfriend. So I'm so excited. But first of all, I want to present you an amazing artist. Today I was offered this amazing deck. I'm gonna show you the cards real quickly because they are beautiful, they're very creative and artisty and I was so excited to show you guys. I mean, look at them, they are so pretty. The design, they look amazing. So I'm gonna be using them for the reading today, you will see the art. So if you are interested by this deck, you can find it linked in the description down below. So make sure to check it out because honestly, you won't regret it. I've been using it for TikTok videos and also for my clients and I love them. So, I mean, you will see the energy on the reading and you will see that the cards are just perfect and fitting. So yeah, I cannot wait to show you. So if you're new here, welcome. If you want, you can join a beautiful family and subscribe down below. And now if you want some personal reading, you can find all the information in the description and the pinned comment. Same thing my TikTok. If you want to follow me out there, I'm posting a lot of videos and lots of reading every single day. So now, as you can see, you have three piles available for today's reading. So pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. When you are ready, you can find a timestamp in the comments down below. Today I'm gonna be shuffling with you using charms, stickers, messages and also some letters and words so we can get all the details about this person who is entering your life. So take your time now, meditate if you want and I'll find you on your pile. So pile number one, let's see who is going to be your new partner. So here, if you pick this card, this is for a reason. What I'm seeing here for you is that you want a cozy and comfortable relationship. You want us to be relaxed with a person and want someone who's mature and wise, but also can offer you the, the sense of security. What I'm seeing also are windows. So you may project yourself in a relationship and want to be with somebody and build a future with them. Meaning you want to be maybe, you know, living in the same house or building something together as a vision or that can be a project, that can be a hobby that you share. You may just want to picture yourself in the person and that vision is manifesting. So that's very good. As for the curtain, I'm seeing revelation and this person is going to be revealed to you or be with you very soon. And for the picture I can see on the scene as well, this is the vision that you have. Anything you think about and anything you believe you deserve in a relationship, this is what you're manifesting. So if you are, you know, having some fears coming or just, you know, like something you don't really want to be manifesting in a person, then try to catch yourself when you think these negative thoughts. And so you can align back with the vision, the positive one that you want to be manifesting in a person. Because all that is manifesting right now. So be, be aware of this. Also, you can see on the scene a kiss. So that can also be what you're craving for, what you need as you know, some touch or just some comfort. So all that is coming. This person is ready to be with you. But also this can be a person who may really enjoy to be at home more and just enjoy activities indoor. So for the cards, let's see. First of all, we have the Four of Swords. And we have the bed again appearing. So I don't know, maybe this is some hint. But here this is a need of balance, of relaxation and rest for you to also decide who is best for you. Now I'm saying that you may dream about the person and encounter this person in dream state. So you have right there the astral projection being shown and if you are not aware of this, we astral project while we sleep and this is why our experiences are in the astral body. So this is something you truly experience just in another dimension. So it seems to be like a dream but this is an experience for you. And that is why I'm saying that you may actually encounter the person and connect with this person already in other dimensions. So here we have Libra energy for this card, so that can also be a Libra or that can be something that happened in Libra season. But I'm especially seeing protection here, a need of protection, a need to also welcome the wave and the flow and the passion in a connection and relationship because your souls may also be 
starting to connect and bond beyond this dimension and you know that too well which is why you really feel that comfort or energy from the person already and you're just wanting more of it and when i said that i saw 333 which is about growth and evolution so that can be announcing that this relationship is going to grow but also make you become a better person and grow as a person but just be where you're attracting someone who's very mature very wise and very present around you or will be very present for you what I'm seeing here as well with number four is about stability and commitment. So you are attracting someone who wants to also picture a future and build a future with you. This is not someone who's just going to pass by in your life. This is someone who wants to be settling down with you and building something strong. And as for the wave, I'm seeing someone who may be maybe very passionate or living next to the beach because that's what you can see and also the blue color that's about communication and because we saw astral projection or dream encounters this can be the way that you two as souls or in your astral body communicate to each other so this encounter i feel you may know the person or you are you are aware of this person at least on a soul level and this is why your body is kind of craving back to encounter and connect with this person right now so that is coming now what i'm seeing here as well is that sometimes you may be in your head a lot um sometimes you may worry too much about the outcome or how a person views you or you know how they may just react when you are around or how they love you do not be too much in your mind space because like I said, you're manifesting everything, you know, the picture was talking about the vision that you have, but also the energy that emanates from you is manifesting. So if you're relaxed, just like what you can see here, if you are at peace and you know the person who is coming is perfect and fitting for you, this will be the result. But if you're worrying constantly or questioning your worth, questioning, questioning yourself, or if you feel like I don't deserve love, then you may manifest someone who's going to treat you the same way. So be aware, really take some time for yourself and heal so you can be ready, but so welcoming with this person who is meant to be in your life, which is very loving and supportive. As for this card, we have Scorpio energy. So with the Nine of Pentacles, I think of someone who is very abundant, very independent. So he or she may be a boss or maybe doing something that's you know, something they always dreamt about and always wanted to do. So all that is going to allow themselves to feel secure and safe materially with what they're studying or what they're doing as a job or business or even what they plan to be working on. But I'm seeing someone who is balanced, happy and satisfied with what is currently happening in their reality, in their life, because they're working towards something they're passionate about and something they're satisfied. So, satisfied with... Here I'm seeing a lot of flowers and this represents trust. So that is what is going to be the foundation in this relationship. But also I'm seeing a lot of flow and waterfall. So that can be this overflowing emotion or feeling. Um, you may also feel that intense desire to be connecting with the person because it flows naturally. The way you communicate, the way you connect, your energy, your soul, the way you envision the future, it connects and flow in the same direction. Like there is no block, it's going freely. And you may feel that when being around the person, you feel like you can be yourself, you can just you know, just express yourself freely without having to retract or, you know, hold on because this person really understands you on a deeper level. What I'm also seeing on the card is a bridge and this represents to me encounter, you know, coming from both sides and then encountering each other on the bridge. The bridge can also be representing some type of event or some type of thing or person which is going to play the middleman, meaning this is going to be rather a situation or a person pushing the buff of you to go in a certain place or to even meet the person and so that will be the start of that relationship but of course this can also be you and your souls actually introducing each other in dream state so you can then encounter and recognize each other in the 3d let me see i think that's about it there are also some grounding energy with the trees and the mushrooms so i'm seeing growth but also a lot of sensuality with the mushroom because that can be representing the men, you know what I mean. So that can also be that desire to be more physical, 
but also I'm seeing a person who is very good at manifesting things in the physical. So you can be this person, but I believe this person is also doing the same. So if you're experiencing a lot of flow, abundance and success, this person is going to be your mirror. And this is what you saw with the picture. Anything you picture, even about yourself, is what you're manifesting in a person because we attract who we are and what we believe we deserve and what we think is best for us. So you're manifesting all of this. Now let's see with the other cards, what's coming for you with that relationship, hints about this future lover. Okay. So we have keep working with the first card and this is what you saw, someone who is very hard working, determined, independent, like a boss, lady or boss. So I believe you are attracting someone who's very hardworking, but also this person may really open your perspective to new things or encourage yourself and motivate yourself to work on something important for you. I don't think you are supposed to be settling for less. You're meant to be building something, an empire, and really succeeding with what you are passionate about. And they are doing the same. This person you're attracting is going to be your motivation, um, but also your inspiration when it comes to your work and mission. So all that is very beautiful to see, but also on the card, I'm seeing books. And this can also be about studying each other. So in the beginning, you may really want to take your time. And I think it's better to really take your time and get to know the person before completely opening up about your feelings. Even though you saw the waterfall and things are flowing between you two, still appreciate the steps and the evolution of that relationship. So that can also be telling you to keep on working on that connection if you know the person. And if you are not aware, then you may need to take your time to get to know the person because that is also showing your interest. You know, if you want somebody and you take them, there's, there's a part of you who takes them for granted or there's a part of you is just taking them as a product. But if you really get to know the person and really show your interest and show that you're here like every single day and you chat with them or you know you meet them very often that is showing your interest but also how you care about the person so take your time and work on this relationship i think this will be the the foundation a very healthy foundation to build when really putting the work into it and working together on building something you know it's not you really putting the work but solo. No, no, it's a collaboration. Waiting for your return. So that can be the situation for some. If you have been connecting with this person, you can be waiting for them to come back to you. But waiting for your return can be on a soul level because you saw astral projection here. And like I said, you are meeting this person in the astral realm or when you go to sleep and dream because you so know each other. It's like you're waiting for that return or you're waiting for, again, meeting each other but now in the 3D. The window is open here, so that shows your openness. And as for the spirit, you know, we talked about astral projection or spirit encounter, so encounter. And this is what I believe is shown here. This person is always visiting you, returning to you. And this is because I believe your souls may just speak the same language and really want to now come into union and support each other. So that's the return. Now let's see more cards related to that relationship. Okay. Popularity. So that can be someone who is popular. And we saw someone who is independent, you know, who is in flow, who is very inspiring. And that is very connected because this person, while being popular, is inspiring the mass, inspiring a lot of people, including yourself. So this is the person you're attracting. And you can also be someone who is popular. Popularity doesn't have to be just with work. This can also be with girls or boys. So you can be popular or they can be very attractive, you know, and you may feel that. I mean, if you're choosing this person, it's because this person has something special. But also, if this person chooses you, that's because, you know, you're the sh You know what I mean. <laughs> so let's see one more card related to that future. Liberation 
is the next card. So that, that can also be how you feel. You feel liberated, you feel... And you know, we talked about you being in flow or there is no... There is no real thing that's blocking you to be your authentic self and that in itself is liberation. That in itself, in itself, it's freedom. So this is what this person may inspire but also awaken within you. And you feel free to be yourself, to do the things you want, to say the things that you want. And there's no judgment. This person is very wise and mature enough to understand everything about you and to really honor this, this part of this authenticity about yourself and this originality that is coming from you and I think this is what is making you popular because you are confident to be yourself you are showing your true colors and all that is just very beautiful to see and this person is supporting this park about you I'm also seeing here the owl and that can be related to intuition so that is telling you to trust your intuition when it comes to meeting the one because your soul knows I mean you've been encountering this person before so you know and you feel this is a person you are meant to be connecting with, so trust your intuition. And that is also going to be liberating when meeting the one, because when you know and when there is no barrier or blocks, it's easy to welcome somebody. So let's continue with the other cards. The next ones are going to be places. And these places can be hints, this can be where this person is coming from, where this person can be working, when you, you can actually meet the one. So let's see some hints related to all that. Okay, I'll pick it up after I take one more. I'll take this one. Okay, so we have the watch shop and that can also be related to divine timing when it comes to this encounter. As you may know, we only encounter and are opening ourselves up at a certain time and so that is creating a perfect timing to be with each other so be aware if you are kind of feeling there is some resistance or the timing is not right and so maybe this is why we saw the return only returning when the time is right and only being around you when the time is right so the watch shop is showing you times and that can also be times during the day or times when you have free time to be with the person and meet the person or maybe chat with the person but don't force it i think it's really going to be happening at the best time and it's going to be happening effortlessly there is no pressure in it and it shouldn't be that way because it's supposed to flow and we talked about this with the waterfall so be aware of this it has to be flowing freely and only coming when you are ready and when this person is ready but also when you two have enough space to give to each other as for the next one we have the tomato stick tomato on sticks <laughs> so and this is funny because this one pops quite a lot and i'm surprised all the time but this is a code you are sticking to each other and also i feel this is you know the stickiness between you two when meeting or encountering in the future you may just want to stick around and not separate yourself anymore because i feel you just feel free but you also feel very loved and noticed and accepted by this person that it feels so good on a soul level that you just want to stick around but also this can be someone who is always glued to you or really wants to have uh, like physical touches and interactions with you now let's see more hints and these are especially related to traits um, or the personality of the person so let's see what is your future boyfriend or girlfriend like? All that you need to know about their personality and traits. And we saw already, you know, someone who's very comfortable, a bit clingy, <laughs> sticking to you, but also someone who is very giving, abundant and very secure. Someone who is independent as well. So let's see more. Generous. That's beautiful. And you could see that with the nine of pentacles. Because for me, that talks about, you know, someone who's just very giving with, you know, that flow and abundance and the waterfall. So generosity. And this can also be someone who's offering you gifts or when going on a first date with you, it may or she may do something very special for you. But you can also feel inspired to be generous with this person. So one more card. Okay, 
sentimental, so this can be someone who is just very romantic. And we saw Scorpio, right? And in general, water signs are very romantic, or like they really love to, you know, make people see their feelings or feel their feelings. And that can also be how you may feel around a person. So there is water energy, so definitely that openness with feelings, emotions. And I think this person, like I said, may buy you things and be generous or show that they care about you. And that is this part of, you know, that sentimental person. Now let's see a couple of cards to see what is your future together. What's in the energy? And I'm seeing 444. So that is supported by your guides. And your guides are working on manifesting this union. That's very good to know. Okay. The first one is trust. So that's perfect. This is what you need, right? You need to trust the person. You need to feel comfortable. And this is what you can experience here with this person. So on this illustration, I'm seeing you two holding ends. So that can also be what you feel, um, like what you feel secure to do. Maybe in the beginning, you know, starting to hold ends, um, like caresses or, you know, subtle things. And I think like we said, it's about taking your time. So making a move that's going to be a bit slower than maybe what other people do. But it doesn't matter because you have to take your own, you know, your own, you have to find your own rhythm in a relationship. If you want to go fast, then do your thing. Now, if you want to take your time and appreciate and discover the person, I think that is for you. So let's see one more card related to the future together. So this can also be, yeah, and I think that's related. Should I take these? Well, we have the first move and sunset and here we have the refusal. And the refusal is for me related to what we talked about. If you rush in this relationship, this person may pass you around because you're not really discovering them. And I think this person is going to be playing hard to get, I'm sorry to say that to you, but that is the energy I'm getting here. And I think this is best. You know, you deserve to be charmed. You deserve to feel special. And if the other person is just loving you for your physical, you don't need that, right? So you, you need someone who is going to be here for you, who can trust yourself. And that is going to be the same that you are receiving from the person. If you're not showing your interest, if you're not working on this relationship, if you're not putting all your love into it and effort into it, this person may be like, I deserve better than this. And I truly believe this person may deserve better than this. So be aware, take your time. Put the effort, work towards it, make the person feel noticed, loved, special. Because if you do that, yes, if you propose to this person at a certain time, this will be accepted. But if right now you're just pressuring the relationship to grow to the next level or because you want to be physical with the person, nope, I don't want this. And I prefer to wait for someone who can really put the effort, but also put the time in this relationship to make me feel loved and to make me feel noticed. Now let's see some messages. I look at you from a distance. So this can be someone who is observing you far away. And maybe this is why you are not aware of this person's identity. Or you may have some, you know, instant that's telling you, mm, yeah, I see you, but there's still some doubt. So... Watching you from the distance. One more message. That's way too much. Okay. I think I'm catching feelings. Well, yes. <laughs> so, I mean, you could see that, right? You can see this deep love between you two. And this is something you cannot deny or hide even. And that's why it's showing up. It's showing up. And even that distance, I think, will just reduce with time. Because if you trust each other and just appreciate each other's company, then your feelings will just show. And you or the person may open up very quickly. But still taking your time. Remember that. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to be pulling more messages with the tiny messages and then using the grid to discover the zodiac sign of the person. So far we saw Libra and um, Scorpio. But of course, these can be seasons as well. Okay, I'll take these messages. 
Okay, I'll start with the first one, which is Spend a little time in silence every day. Eventually the mind also quiets down. And we, we saw that, and this is what you need. You need to relax, my friend. You need to stop overthinking or thinking of worst case scenarios. No, you need to think of the best so you can manifest that vision for you. So take some time, rest, meditate, recenter. Trust your ability. And we repeat what we don't repair. And that is probably why you need some space and time of healing to actually find back your center and trust your abilities, trust yourself. And so your mind can be quiet enough to create the best scenario and manifest the best things for you. So let's continue now with the crit to see the zodiac sign of the person. Okay, so here we have Scorpio again, um, we have Leo, Taurus, a little bit of Aries as well, Pisces, Aquarius, um, Capricorn, I was about to say Scorpio again, so Capricorn is the last one, but of course it can be beyond it, you know, it's not so restricted, this is just an outlook on the signs. So this is it, I'm gonna be now continuing with the other techniques, let's go. So group number one, let's start with your letters and words. Okay, one flew out there. So we have ever, want, say. That can be someone who wants to say something to you. R O D E I A. This in Portuguese means king, so you are attracting maybe a king. We have road, so that can also be someone who is taking the same road or the same path as you. We have can help. My sing can also be a singer. We have why this might be sure if I understand well. So maybe being certain before saying something, even though they want, they may want to help also. Um, and maybe this is also someone who may help you with your singing if you want to be a singer, because that is also what I'm getting here. But if you see anything with the letters, the words, as a code, as a, as a sentence, you can share that in the comments. Now let's see with your charms. Alright, we have more letters and more words. We have kiss. Sing again, interesting, and we have sweet. D S E. I heard divine, maybe sensuality as well. P E can be sport, right? So I can also be someone into sport. And for the charm, I'm seeing things blooming between you two. But of course, you can associate all the letters, the words, and be creative. I'm gonna now move these away and see the stickers for more hints. Okay. So first we have the hamburger and this represents to me layers. So that can also be getting to know the layers of the person, their depth. We have the movie. Could be someone on screens or someone who is maybe creating a movie. We have one there. Sorry. Could be someone who is congratulating yourself, present, and always seeing your improvements or things that you do. There's also a glitch here. And that can also be how it feels, you know, things, you know, when being around the person, time stop, where things just act crazy, like lights are like glitching or, you know, something like that can also be a birthday party happening very soon or maybe the birthday of the person may be coming soon. 
keep calm and find your road. It's funny because we saw road on the letters and here it's popping again. And kiss, kiss, kiss. That's perfect. This is your future. So this is your reading. I hope you like this one. Let us know in the comments what you think you can write. I claim to welcome this new love faster. And if you're new here, make sure to join a beautiful family and subscribe down below. And I will see you in my next reading. So palm number two, let's see what is coming in your love life. So first of all, with the first card, I'm seeing a lot of hints. On this one, I'm seeing a city right away, so that can be a city boy, a city girl. As for the computers, this represents to me collaboration or working with the person, studying with the person. But also this can be the tool or the, you know, the thing you use to communicate to each other. So that can be a long distance relationship, if not working together or studying together. This can also be rather on the computer or someone you see on the screen, for example. Let's say this person is an entertainer or a TikToker, then that can also be the hint and message. Just be aware of this. There's some screen connection, you know? So also what I'm seeing on the scene is like the first kiss is still a bit shy. It's still the introduction of that relationship. And this is what I'm seeing here. This may be the new start, a new beginning, a new flow. And this is the reading, right? So that's connected. On the card, I'm also seeing a girl wearing a watch and that can be related to the divine timing um, that's meant to be happening in this relationship. But also that's telling me to not rush in a relationship. Take your time. Okay, that's the code. Okay, so let's see. And I guess this is why you need to take your time because this person is coming running in your direction. We have here the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is someone who's very giving, very loving, a romantic. And this is why I'm saying that you don't really have to do anything except wait and be ready for this relationship to start. But there's already some tension and this is what you could see or rather at work or with this person around you. You know, it feels like there's always some event or something or some person that's pulling the buff of you closer. And this is because it's meant to be happening. I feel there's some magnetism between you two souls. And this person is understanding that pretty, pretty well. So the Knight of Cups is someone who is very secure with his feelings or her feelings. And this is why he is now wanting to take action and confess to you or show what he is truly, is truly feeling. As for the cup, this is golden liquid, like shining. And this is for me representing the person's aura or the person's soul. You may really see and if some of you really see auras, you may see this glowing aura around them. And this is because they are shining bright, but also being so confident in their skin that they're shining beautifully and you can really tap into the energy or see the energy through the eyes. And if you are wanting to discover what is your color of the aura, you can do this exercise in front of the mirror. Make sure you are having a background which is white. And then look at your third eye and fix that point in the mirror. And then you will see with your peripheral vision this glowing light around you. When you start to expand, look up very quickly and you will see your aura will be expanding and you'll see the color pretty pretty vividly. And what you can do after that is check online what is the meaning of that color. But of course, afterward, you can do this on animals, on objects, on everything because everything is energy so you can see the energy of everything around you but that is some really good exercise just wanted to share that and I think this may serve you to really discover people's energy and associate the aura and energy to how they are feeling and you can even see if people are lying if people are in love with you just with the aura so that is a good tool to use but definitely a glowing person and that can also be someone who is glorious meaning they're doing something they're passionate about and they're satisfied about and so they're glowing they're shining they feel confident but they feel also secure with what they're doing and that is also why i feel this person knows i have enough to offer so because i feel safe around the person with you then i can confess freely my feelings to you
So now for the next card, we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is someone who's very analytic. So be aware this person is going to really take the time to get to know you before making a move. Although you could see the Knight being determined and courageous and wanting and craving you, still this person will really take the time to get to know your story, to get to know if you are the one and to get to know if you are the person he is wanting or she is wanting to build an empire with because we have the king or queen energy here they can also be feeling a bit cold and icy you know that's the ice you can see on the background and by the way this can be a water sign or an air sign because we have sword this is air sign and mind connection. You can also develop a telepathic connection with time with this person, especially if you really open up your your senses with this person and you know start to build um, these things. Like I said, reading auras, being sensitive to energy, to sounds, and you can just ask, and this will activate easily. There is no real magic behind like how to open your third eye, how to see auras, how to hear spirits. It seems like magic in the beginning and feel like, oh, this is not possible for me, but everyone can do this, okay? So if you want to do that, if you want to really open all these senses or gifts, just ask and that's it. This is all that you need to do. Like for my third eye, I just asked to open my third eye to serve people and help people. And the same, like at the same moment, it opened. That is all about the magic that's behind it. Some people tell you you have to meditate, you have to do this certain... Yeah, if that works for you, great. But it doesn't have to be complicated. Just saying. I think I need to share all these things because you guys are ready to also manifest a solely connection with this person. And so that will really be growing that relationship to the next level because if you really tap into your senses and open these gifts, you will be able to communicate telepathically with energy or you can actually communicate your love without having to say anything. So all that is going to be serving this relationship to grow that connection. I'm sure you know what I mean, but you will feel that or maybe feel inspired by this person because he or she may teach you about these things or may inspire you to really tap into your power as a soul. Here we have the wait. So that can be telling you to be patient and to wait for this person. And we saw the watch. So that can also be about the divine timing. So be aware. If there is some delay, if there is some wait in the process don't feel desperate it's often happening for like soul connections or soul encounters because it's only going to be manifesting when you two are ready and when you two are hoping for that divine relationship and for what this includes because i believe this relationship with this person is not good it's not just going to be about love and touches and intimacy it's going to be beyond it it's going to be something that's going to be very profound and deep So let's see, I'll take just one, so one more card. <laughs> They're always really sending me a lot of cards. I just need one more, please, related to you guys' future. Okay, perfect. Openness is the next card. So it shows you are open, you are ready to be in this relationship. The window is open, so that can also be a, an open vision that you have, the vision that you have about your future or a future person. All that you picture about your lover or future lover or your ideal person is what you are manifesting in your king and knight. So be aware of this. The person you are attracting is your mirror or what you envision and also what you are welcoming. Anything you are rejecting, anything you are not wanting into your life, is going to be bouncing back that wall because first of all you are not accepting it but also you're not open to manifest somebody who is not going to be providing you the love that you dream about and that you really put on a pedestal so let's see now more cards for you guys so let's see more hints okay we have true beauty and this is the Empress energy. 
So the Empress energy is about growth, beauty, nurturing energy. That's the mom or that's the father, if this is a man. So that can also be the person you want to be building something in the future. You can feel secure, you can feel supported, you can feel noticed, you can feel loved by the person. And honestly, this is what you could see with the King of Swords. Because for me, the King of Swords is just very, very grounded and also very grounding as a person. And you feel just more inspired to, you know, feel secure, to feel good and to think of positive things. Can you just stop? Anyway, so that is what I'm seeing here. True beauty and not just like something you can see with the eyes. It's something you can feel deeply with the beauty of the person. But also expect a lot of growth and inspiration in this relationship. You may want to grow together, build something together and see things evolving together. And true love. I love you to the moon and back. So true love is coming for you. And I mean, you deserve this, but also you could see it appearing. You know, this romance starting, this love and passion here. And you can see that this person is the one. So there's no need to kind of push this person away. If you know this person is doing his best or her best, then just welcome and see how this person truly is or how this relationship can be evolving into. Now I'm going to be using this deck and this is going to be showing places. So these places can be like places you can be encountering the person or that can be places where this person is you know, traveling to, working in, any type of hints, you'll see. Okay. I'll take these three. So we have the milk shop. When I think of milk, I think of purity. And it's funny because you could see the, the cup kind of representing a cup of milk shining. So that can also be the liquid, the essence of the person, which is very pure. Here we have chapeau, which is the hat. So that, that's a hat shop. And we saw mind connection with the sword. So that can also be telepathic connection like we talked about before. Because to me, like the heart is mostly about covering that connection or covering the crown chakra. So there is no real, I mean, there is a control of that connection with the divine spirits and people. So if you want also to protect your energy, what you can do is to wear a hat. So this way you cover the crown chakra and there is no like energy flowing out. And so people cannot really tap into it. But you can just protect it. You don't have to wear <laughs> um, a hat to do so. Why? That can be the tool, but this can also be limiting the one this person is wearing a hat, you know, as simple as this. And here we have the closing store. So this can be someone who has a very unique sense of fashion, even with the hat this person may wear or the fashion this person may, you know, wear also. You can just feel very inspired or just in awe because they're so original. But of course, this can be someone who's working in the fashion industry, um, like being a model, for example, a fashion designer, someone who is modeling online, maybe on Instagram or even a TikToker that has a very strong style. You know, all that can be hints. But of course, this can be for the first date, going shopping together. And of course, even as a friend, you can be doing this activity. So I'm going to be using this deck now. And this one is really describing the traits and personality of the person. So let's see more hints and details. Okay, so these two. We have confident. So, and you could see it, king energy, very strong and confident. And this is probably why they seem a bit cold and icy in the beginning, because they, they're just very impressive. You know, when sometimes you meet someone who is confident and strong and powerful, you feel a bit intimidated. So that can also be the vibe. But this is because this person is very comfortable and confident in his skin. And as for this one, we have gentle. So that, that is just a facade. That is just um, an envelope. And that, you know, an armor even. Because I feel like this person may just show off that power and confident as also a layer of protection. But deep down, when getting to know the person, you will see they are very gentle and funny and bubbly. It's just that you need to get to know them and 
when feeling comfortable around you, they will show that aspect of them. Now let's see with couple cards what you can expect and what is coming for you in this relationship. Yes. I mean, this is what we talked about, showing feelings. So when getting to know the person, this person will just open up, show their feelings, confess to you. It's very connected. So expect this person to feel comfortable. And on this scene, you can see this person offering you the bouquet, which shows confession and also wanting to bloom with you. There's some offering. <laughs> and here we have integrated. You're one of us now. I'm the only one like me. And this is from Fantastic Beasts. So that can also be maybe um, a movie you to enjoy if you like Harry Potter or the universe that's more fantastic with movies. That can also be something you like. But I'm the only one like me can also be the message. You won't find somebody who is like this person. And with integrated, for me, this is about someone who is really wanting you to feel integrated, wanting you to feel, you know, to feel special around them, but also, you know, when choosing you, you know that you are the one and only one, so you are integrated. But also expect someone is going to make space in their routine and life to make you feel more integrated and to make you feel more welcomed. So now let's see messages from this person, anything this person wants you to know. I just want to be with you. Well, 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 and I mean, you could see it, confession, getting close, integrated, yeah, so that is definitely connected. So one more message. You appear in my dreams. Interesting. So this can be some dream encounter and connection. If you felt attracted by group number one, I wouldn't be surprised because that was very connected to this message. So you appear in this person's dream. Let's see now messages from the person with the tiny messages. And then I'm going to be using the grid to discover the zodiac of the person. What? This is way too much. So I'll take the ones which came out here. I'm successful in everything I do. So that can be their situation. Imagination has no limit. And you can be using your imagination to be manifesting a result that you want. And actually daydreaming or visualizing, imagining is so, so powerful to be manifesting whatever you desire. So please use it in your advantage. Let's see now with the zodiac grid, the zodiac of the person. Of course, that can be sun, rising and moon sign beyond the zodiac. So here we have Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn and Sagittarius especially. But of course, can be beyond it. Here we saw water signs and air signs, so that is completion. Now let's continue with the other techniques. Let's go. Now let's start with your letters and words. Okay, so we have all of these. And don't be afraid to write it down in the comments to help other people. Okay, so first I'm saying toi, which in France means you. So that can be someone who's targeting you. I was kind of getting aura, but I'm missing the R. Let's see. Oh, we have duo. So it could be someone who is wanting to be creating a duet with you or just wanting to do a duo coming together. As for the numbers, I'm seeing one and two especially. So one is newness, new beginning, um, but also independence. And for number, number two, it's about unity. Why no? Can also be a question like why no why not you know why not being together yeah it's it's funny because toi and t i think in um italian means you as well and of course these languages if they come to you this can also be a hint 
maybe Italia, France, um, do <laughs> the light was acting crazy right now, so I don't know, maybe that's a hint for you. Now let's see with, funny now, this repeated after I said that. Let's see the charms. Wow, we saw duo, right? And here we have the piano. So just saying, this can be going on a date and playing piano together, for example. For this, I see this as fortune, the piggy bank, for example. So that can also be someone who is just very abundant, color and sure. Maybe you like this person color, meaning you like the person personality, what they spread as E. Can also be the sea, you know. Maybe if you want to be traveling next to the sea or going over seas, that can also be it. Here we have I love my soldier. So it can be someone you see as a warrior, as a strong person. And we have true love here being offered to you. The stickers. Taurus. <laughs> um, and it's quite funny because we saw color, right? With this message. If you can see that. And here we have true colors. So that's someone who's going to be just true, authentic to you, showing their true color. We have by someone who is quite surprised. Maybe there is some, you know, in and out type of dynamic in that relationship, like by or I want to be here with you. I'm okay. You know, there there is some interaction that is not too clear or direction that is not too clear even though you want to see their true colors you want to get to know who they truly are and as for the one out there oh we have more we have okay this is what you can see here this can also be a code telling you you know i'm okay and if sometimes they do not respond it's because they may be busy with something the tv screen is appearing so that can also be someone who is on screens um, so that can be someone who is, for example, doing TikTok, or that can be someone on YouTube, or someone who is an actor. Someone who's going to be very fun to be around, having a good time with this person. So Taurus can be the season, or that can be the sign, or signs, moon, sun rising, or zodiac of the person. But so far, everything is going to go perfectly, accordingly to the plan that you had, the vision that you had. Don't be too surprised sometimes if things do not flow the way you want it. There could be a delay or waiting for the best timing before being together. Like the season may also be um, important for you two to be together. So that is the energy. So this is your reading. I hope you like this one. Let us know in the comments what you think you can write. I claim to welcome this new love and energy. And if you're new here, make sure to join a beautiful family and subscribe down below. And I will see you on my next reading. Bye-bye. So pile number three, let's see what is coming for you in your love life. So first of all, we have this first card and the sea. What I'm seeing is art. So if you're an artist, I think this is why you picked this group. But also if you want some creative relationship, someone is going to be making you like their muse, who is very inspired about you, but also you are inspired by this person, this is your sign and this is what you're creating and manifesting in this relationship. So what I'm saying here is beauty. I think what you value in a person is beauty and not just physically. It's something that is coming from the soul, something that is coming from the person's personality, their energy, their actions, their essence, their words. Everything about them has to be a masterpiece. And I believe you may be a bit of a perfectionist and want to be painting the best reality or the best relationship and may really observe the person before deciding if this is the one. You know, re you really want to get to know somebody and check all these things on your list and be like, yes, you're good enough. Or if you feel really not satisfied about part of them, you may be rejecting a little bit of what's offered to you or maybe be a lot in your mind kind of questioning things and ev evaluating things because as an artist, you want perfection and you want to be projecting and building but also painting in your reality 
what you know you deserve. So there's nothing wrong with this and I think you are attracting the best match for you. So congrats. Also, if you are an artist, you can be using art to manifest this person faster. Rather, it's you singing about love or painting about love or rather it's writing about love. All that is manifestation and if you use it right, you can manifest anything you desire. I personally use paintings to be manifesting people. I've met celebrities while doing this or just getting a message from them while posting online about the portrait. So be aware this can be helping you to connect and manifest a person or manifest a connection. So that can be used in your advantage if you want to be manifesting a person or be creative in a way that you're manifesting a new love. Speaking of new love, this is fresh and new. So what I'm seeing here with the Ace of Pentacles is a new valuable relationship and this is your creation. You are actually understanding the power of your creation and the power of the soul to be manifesting this unique and beautiful relationship. With the Ace of Pentacles, I always think of a new relationship that is worth investing in. And that is why you are getting to know the person, analyzing things, investing your time into getting to know them before engaging completely in a relationship. So this is all in your advantage because you know afterward, after getting to know the person, if this is worth investing in this relationship when this person or if this is not really what you value or if this is not really aligning with what you value and like in a person, then don't take it. So that is actually telling you you're doing the, the right thing while being more selective with the people that you want in your life because this way you can attract a person of power which is the king here and also funny because when i was shuffling the cards i prepared these two before and then i saw this one popping and for me the king of wands is someone who's very creative and original and this is because of it that they're shining so bright and becoming the king so because you saw the art and here this creative and original energy yes you are attracting someone who is going to be like this very original very unique one of a kind and i think this is what you want and this is what you get so expect a person who is very powerful, very inspiring to you. And like I said, that is someone who's going to really open your perspective to things or maybe inspire yourself, inspire your own art. Why? Because you can see this, like this glow, this energy. This can also be someone who has been glowing up or who is now working on their business and blooming because of it and shining because of it. So for example, if this is a singer, he may be getting more popularity. Or if this is a writer or some, some artist, right? This is someone who's just getting more attention from the people because they see that spark and aura and beautiful energy that is shining when they do something they are passionate about and they know is the best investment of their being and time. And I believe this is also why you like this person because they're very determined, they have big dreams, they have big goals and just that maybe also something you are targeting. You may have goals and dreams and wishes that you want to accomplish and this is why you're attracting someone who is more like goal-oriented or dream-oriented and to be manifesting the best reality for them. But expect someone who's going to be very powerful. Also the way you can see um, like the, the people on the cards, that can also be how they may look. They can have a beard, they can have brown hair, dark hair, um, long hair, short hair, you know, all that. That can also be hints, so make sure to pay attention to the looks because that can also be a direct message for you. Of course, that can be different. They can have blue hair, you know, you never know. I mean, I have red hair, so everything is possible. And because that's an artist, he may be a bit more original than other people and that may be why you really like that about them. So yeah, let's see now more hints related to this relationship that's coming and that's being created. So we have the arrival. This person is coming. If you're waiting for this person to come and enter your life, if you don't know this person, this person is coming, just be patient. But also, 
the way this card is showing the transport this can be someone who is from the distance and maybe driving to you or for example the first day can be this person driving to your place or driving to a date a, a special event or a special place to be meeting you or you can be the one who is also taking the bus or taking the train or taking your car to go and meet the person but there is some arrival it is starting <laughs> On this one, you can see collecting stars. And it's funny because I was thinking of someone who is glowing up and shining and being, you know, very inspiring for the people, building their business, their career, being successful. And this is also related because for me, collecting stars is about collecting all that you want, collecting all the wishes, the dreams, the goals that you want. And this represents also that this person may be shining bright, could be a star, could be a star seed. Just someone who is very inspiring for the mass, inspiring for the people. And their, their light is just very beautiful and inspiring. So they are shining as a star. And I think this is why you can see this person glowing and shining. And this is someone who's going to also inspire yourself to think more positively. Because through the darkness, they are shining. Nothing is really making them, you know, suffer more. Or they are really seeing that this shadow self or shadow aspect of life and manifestations are always lessened for them to level up and to shine even more. So there is no restriction or... No dimming light here. It's no, I am here to shine and I'm here to succeed. So I'm, I'm going to go that way. And I'm going to make sure that I make myself proud. So that is the energy of the person you're attracting. But I believe you may really, really see yourself in this energy. Because first of all, we attract who we are and what we believe we deserve. So if this is your direction, then you are attracting someone who is taking the same path as you. Alright, so this is too much, so I'm going to be shuffling again. So let's see, more hints related to the person or the future for you guys. Okay, so we have, <laughs> that's not even surprising, the world and success. So the world is about completion and that can also be how you feel when being around the person. Wow, I'm seeing, seeing my energy kind of flowing out, so I need to recenter a little bit. Whew, okay, this was way too high, I guess. So this is about success. Success, and this is also what you could see here, right? Receiving money, flowing, um, connecting with amazing people, shining so bright. There is also a sense of communion on this card, like coming together, growing together. And this is what you are wanting to experience, I believe, in a loving connection. You want to be supported, you want to be seen, and you want to be growing beautifully. But also seeing this relationship as a success, as a reward, or as a trophy. You know, it's like, I'm so proud of you that I want to show you off to everybody, to all my friends. I mean, you are encountering the king or the queen here, so of course you want to show off a little bit, and that's that's all good doing this. Now be aware, this person is very successful, this person may be very popular with people, but with what they do especially. Okay, we have the master. And this one popped when I had too many cards, so it came back. The master is for me someone who is well aware of their talents, who is well aware of what they're supposed to be doing on earth and they use all these skills and talents to master something and to create perfection and manifest abundance in their life. So that's a master, a leader, a creator and this is very connected to the art or creation as a symbolism and you're attracting someone who's just on top of their game there's the watch here appearing, so that can also be divine timing or really valuing time. You know, someone who is very predictive, who doesn't like to waste time, who doesn't like to waste energy, time and effort in a connection. So if this person is targeting you, it's because he knows you are the one. It's because he or she knows you are the person they want to invest in. Because you seem to be the best. You, you seem to be like the trophy, you know, <laughs> the reward that they want. And it's funny because we have Paige appearing, you know, as the program. This is a very old program, but if you're born 
you know, before, around my age, in the 90s, then you know what it's like to play with that and that looked ugly. <laughs> um, but this was fun to use, right? It was like the Photoshop. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. No, 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 don't take it. No, it wasn't the Photoshop of the old days. But, you know, kind of like... Um, just a drawing thing. I'm sure you know what it's like. You may not be too young <laughs> to not know what it's like. Unless you are, then I feel very old right now. So now with these cards. These cards are places. And these places are presenting maybe a place where you can be meeting the person. Or that can also be the energy or hints. So first we have bread. So we have baguette. <laughs> So French. Um, so that can be a French person, or that can be someone who is really enjoying sweets or cakes, or maybe someone who's a, a very good cook. That can also be the hint. And we have the um, sunflowers. The sunflowers present for me someone who's very bright. I mean, you saw that. This person is glowing in the dark. So definitely someone who's very bright and positive, uplifting you, sharing that positive energy. There's the bouquet appearing as well. And that can also be some offering or confession. So that is what I think you can expect from the person. Confession, warmth, and even with the bread, you know, it's warm and, and tasty. And that can also be how it's going to be with the person. And here we have the tea. Again, warm, comfort. You know, when you drink that tea, you just feel, you know, it's just very warm and it feels comforting and cozy. So that can also be the, the type of environment or atmosphere or connection this person may look with you so we have black tea green tea dragon wall tea oh we have spring as well spring spiral peppermint tea so that can also be the season spring season may be an important season or the season when you can be encountering the one and with the the entrance the entrance is um, how is it called again? A curtain. So that can also be how things may be a bit mysterious in the beginning. You know, you may not really perceive what's in there, but you want to enter. And I think that's the mystery or mystical energy which is coming from the person who is making you more interested and craving to know what's there deep down. So there's a part of discovery out there. As for this deck, this deck is going to be representing the person's personality and energy. So we have cuddly first cuddly, touchy, you know, and I think this is something you can see, you know, with the muse and like admiration and someone you see as, you know, someone is just so bright and shining so beautifully that you want to be sticking to them or just getting this energy, absorbing the energy, you see, so that can also be why one of you or the buff of you feel very close physically or want to feel more closer. Um, physically. So let's see one more card with the traits, personality, or the way this person may treat yourself. That's way too much. One more card, please. Okay. Loving. So cuddly and loving. And I think this person may also show their love through their creation or art, especially if they are an artist or someone who's creating content, for example, he or she may subtly send a message to you as I love you or I care about you. So really pay attention to their creation. Now let's see with a couple of cards what you can expect in this loving relationship. All that you need to know right now. Okay. So here we have spending time together. We also have 3 p.m. So that can also be a time when meeting the person or time that is right now happening. <laughs> and that is the message, the code. So the TV is popping. Can also be someone on screens. And we talked about this, an artist or someone who's creative, a content creator, could be a YouTuber, could be someone on TikTok, could be someone um, who is even on TV, an actor. Or you can be inspired to do these things. And if this is the case, that is some encouragement for you to do that. But expect also to, you know, relax at home and watch a movie together. Netflix and chill, if you know what I mean. So that's the future for you. So one more card related to your love life. 
they are very generous they're like just take it just take it and this is way too many cards so one more please okay future trip did i talk about long distance relationship i'm not too sure but i think i did if i'm not mistaken if not then don't take that yeah with the arrival we talked about transport um meeting the other person that can also be on a trip you know traveling together maybe buy a car or taking the train together something like this so future trip I'm kind of getting only moon vibes here, so if you are wanting to be married to somebody, could be the one. Could be the one who is meant to be in your life. Now let's see messages from this person. Anything this person wants you to know or wants to say to you. So two messages would be perfect. Okay, I'll take these two. Nope, no more. <laughs> Well, that's three of them, so I'll take it. I wish I could press my lips against yours, is the first one. My hair. If you can't trust me, let me go. Yeah, trust is the foundation of every relationship. If you cannot trust, love, accept, I think it's going to be hard for you and for the person. Should I confess to you? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's time. Just do it. So rather it's you asking yourself, like, should I confess? Should I show that I care? I think it can be the hint for you to do so and to confess to the person. But trust your intuition. You always know what's best for you. All right. So I'm going to be now using messages with the tiny messages to discover what this person wants to say to you or anything you need to know. And then I'm going to be using the zodiac grid so we can get to know the zodiac of the person, also their sun, moon and rising signs. Okay, I'll take these. You are... <laughs> you are artwork. I could admire you forever. Yes, you are. I mean, that's why I was laughing, right? You're an artwork. Your artwork, I could admire you forever. Anything is possible if you've got enough nerve. Yeah, I love this. This is very encouraging. What is meant to be will always find its way. Always. So this is meant to be. That's the code here. Now let's continue with the grid to see the zodiac of the person. So let's see. So we have Leo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, a little bit of Capricorn, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and a little bit of Gemini. So these are the signs, of course, can be beyond it. What we saw on the cards were Earth sign with pentacles and wand is fire sign. So these can also be the signs related to this person. Now let's continue with the other techniques. Let's go. So let's start with the letters and words. So we have stuff. I-I-A-A. -A -A. Interesting. So these can be hints related to the person name. We have fly, so that can be that can also be some long distance relationship flying to the person. Kind of getting a Y for some reason. You know, it's just we're missing letters, but maybe we'll get some with the charms. So let's see. I mean, we kind of have that, right? It's just missing the W or Y. So I'm not sure if this is a plan or um, a travel. Even the fish can also be about flowing, traveling. That can also be a Pisces and we have two of them. 
very Pisces season, maybe an important season. You could see the palm facing up. So this is you being receiving with this new love or this person. Z-E. Like. Why. Maybe you're asking yourself, like, why is this person the one? Or you may really analyze the person and get more answers. Like, I'm seeing this as you two being alike. Or that can also be liking the same things. Having the tools or having all that you need to be working on this relationship and to make it work. This can also be about fixing things. You know, using that tool to fix something that was not working. So if there's some, you know, something that's not flowing so much between you two, then ask yourself why. Try to find the answers and work on bettering communication and that connection. So I'm going to be putting this on the side and seeing the stickers. TikTok is popping. I'm not even surprised, but I'm excited. Okay, so let's see. These are hiding. I'm quite far, so I'm struggling. All right, so I'm seeing Ascension, making a wish, a wish coming true. You know, when you blow on the dandelions, this is the code. Welcome, hoping. So this person is welcoming and hoping. Merry Christmas. Could also be someone who's born during this season because that's the code I was getting. But also could be someone who you will be spending Christmas with. Taurus. Could also be a Taurus or some season that's important for you. Say hello. And this can be some internet communication. You know, the bubbles when chatting with each other. Old school, old school, old school rap. Can be a singer, a rapper, someone who is into music. And we saw art for this group, so very, very connected. And as for the meditation, could be someone who is into meditation or telling you to meditate and find answers or connect with this person while being in this meditative state. Here we have sorry. So maybe there is something you feel sorry about, something that's bothering you on your mind, something you want to fix you know, with um, the tapes, that's something you want to fix again. And we saw that right with the tool. So maybe there's definitely something you need to be fixing, you know, and there is a part of trust again, you know, I want to connect with you again. And there's so much admiration that's coming from you or the person when being in each other's presence and TikTok. So these are the signs for you. So this is your reading. I hope you like this one. Let us know in the comments what you think you can write. I claim to welcome this beautiful new love and energy. And if you're new here, make sure to join our beautiful family and subscribe down below. And I will see you on my next reading.